Hi, this is Jeremiah Crochier for Action 6 News. We are here out in a barn in Montana with none other than Darren Crosby. Hi, Darren. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Today, we're going to interview some rabbits. Before I start the interview, though, many, uh, many of the fine people of Montana and the surrounding states and countries have decided to uh, write some questions in to us and email some questions. But before we get into those questions, I'd just like to, uh, I'd like to say some things to the rabbits. And Darren here is going to translate, since I don't know how to speak rabbitish. <laughs> All right, first I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to say something to the rabbits. I want to have um, Darren respond, um, you know, in English what the rabbit said in rabbitish. Here we go. <laughs> Darren, what did I think of that? Um, I think they're a bit confused, but uh, how so? I think that that was for the puppies. That that sound is what puppies enjoy. Now, for me, I I like that. I like to use that sound with uh, puppies, bunnies, babies. You know, everybody. All right, well, we'll just get into the, uh, the questions now. Um, starting with, uh, this one comes in from Mary Jane. She lives in Billings, and uh, her question is, did you ever find out who framed Roger? You, you, you looked intense. What do you say? Uh, you said that scary guy with the googly eyes. Scary, eye, scary guy with the googly eyes. Now we know who framed Roger if you didn't see the movie. Uh, next question, this one comes in from uh, Bill from Livingston. How exactly did you lose that one race to the tortoise? And uh, what did she say? Uh, she said overconfidence and laziness. I knew it. You need to start drinking some five-hour energy. The next question we have, uh, this one comes in from Derek from Great Falls. Are you excited about the London Olympics? As you can see, she's getting pretty aggressive. Um, I think she's pretty pumped about the Olympics. Okay, that's good. That's good. Excitement is always necessary, especially for something that only happens four times, or every four years, I should say. Four times in, what, 16 years, right? Yeah, she, my is she is, uh, she's rooting for the Dutch. Now, um, her, 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 I'm sorry, go ahead. Her neighbor is Dutch. Her neighbor is Dutch. And, and the chewing technique, what's, what's going on here? Is she trained for some kind of event? Um, they're... They're hoping there's a new event coming out. It's it is Olympic chewing, and it it's far fetched, but she's I mean she's a dreamer. Now, who's a better biter, uh, a rabbit or a beaver? <laughs> um, rabbits as far as soft things, beavers like the hardwood. All right, very nice. We're learning <laughs> stuff today. Um, I'm going to ask the next question from Patty, who uh, chimes in from Great Falls, also. Is Bugs annoying, as annoying as he seems in real life? <laughs> okay, and what did he say? Um, she actually said... Oh, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't know your gender. I'm sorry, I apologize. She said he is annoying as he is attractive. I don't know what that means. Ooh. I, I don't, I'm not sure. A little crush going on there. Um, now, uh, you guys are, this is from Jeff from Polson. You guys are well known for multiplying. Here's a quick question. What is 197 times 843? What was the response? Uh, they're readers. They're readers. They, they're not, they don't like math. They're oh, okay. Here, here's, the question is right here. You can read it. It still says uh, 197 times 843. See that? Okay, that time, I'm pretty sure that, that she read it. What did she respond? Um, I think she said 19,000. That's probably close. I have no idea. I don't know the answer either. I'm not very good at math or multiplying. Um, next question comes in from Bob from Missoula. Um, yeah, from Missoula. Who was the better 80s sitcom parental guardian, George Papadopoulos or Henry Warnemont? And she was uh, very intent to that question. What was the answer? Um, I think she says George. George Webster fan, all right, very nice. Um, Susie from Duluth, Minnesota writes in, why are you always hopping around destroying people's gardens? And what was the answer to that? Um, it's what we do. Okay, well, that's, that's a fair answer, very honest, very precise. 
Um, a few weeks ago, the governor of Iowa choked on a carrot and had to be hospitalized. Can you explain to everyone the proper way to chew and digest a carrot? It's a demonstration there, I believe, right? Is that how she would uh, chew the carrot as well? She is a demonstrating it. Um, she says it takes... Um, what he failed to do was the mastication. They need, oh, okay. they need a lot of mastication with carrots. A lot of mastication. And, and just so our viewers at home understand what he is saying, mastication, I believe it, it means chewing. Chewing and masticating, same thing. Chewing. Masticating, chewing. Okay, now that we cleared that up, uh, that was from Tiffany from Miles City. I don't want to forget the shout out. Next question we go uh, from Carolyn and Jasper. Are your feet really lucky in severed form hanging from a keychain or in a rear view mirror? Go with this one. Severed. And what was the response there? She said if they were lucky, she wouldn't have lost. They, you know, they won't. They wouldn't have lost them in the first place. Yeah, I was always, I was, I never believed in that. I thought that was really stupid. Good call on that. And uh, finally, uh, from Scott from Calgary, wants to know: Are you guys really this adorable? I'll get, I'll take both answers. I can't, I, I can't believe you're really this adorable myself. Okay, and what was the response? They they said it just comes natural, and um, with this plush undercoat, um, it's it's just natural, and they, they they are that adorable. All right, well you heard it here first from uh, Darren Crosby. Darren, thanks again for uh, coming on the show. No and, problem. Uh, thanks for coming in again. Here yeah. in uh, Montana. Uh, this has been uh, Jeremiah Crocheered live out here in Montana in a barn. Back to you, Jan.